Yo, come on, come all, oh, nothing but love, nothing but respect. You know what we do, what we don't, what we is, what we isn't, and what we is is here today bring you guys and girls. Demon Slayer Mugen Train. I'm excited to watch this movie slash season, alright? I it is been talked up and hyped up to me like crazy. It's hard to believe that this came out three years ago at this point in time, but time absolutely flies. And now that I'm actually up to it, I'm damn well excited. And I also know that season three's just begun. Um, I'm thinking there are like one or two episodes at the point in time of filming this. So um, yo, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get straight into the greatness that is this. Um, but before we do, you know what to do. You know what's really appreciated. All right, share your love. Of Demon Slayer, share your love of Mugen Train, share your love to the channel by subscribing, right? Hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like this, give the video a thumbs up and all that good stuff. Also, if you want to go that extra step and you want to see me break down my thoughts and stuff like that on this video or on this series as a whole, right? Be sure to check out the link tree that'll take you to my Discord, my Twitch, my Twitter, but more specifically my TikTok at this point in time where I post a lot more short form content and uh, go through a bunch of stuff there, right? That is really appreciated. But now that you have, let's get into the phenomenon that is the Demon Slayer Mugen Train. This is the highest grossing animated film to come out of Japan, all right? Grossing in a whopping $507 million. $507 mil. That's right, 507 mil since 2020. Now, it probably has a bit more of a boost because that movie sort of aired at around the same time in memory as the entire manga ending. Also, it's the second season of the show, so anyone that you know would want to continue the anthology of the series had to watch the movie. So it definitely boosted the numbers there. But I've heard this movie's phenomenal. I'm excited for it. It's one of those things where... The, f the animation in that from the first season, the music, the scores, I loved all that sort of stuff, right? Um, the, the fights were very dynamic and, in and very en dynamic and entertaining. The music and the scores, phenomenal. I absolutely rock with them, right? I also love some of the tracking shots and stuff like that. And I'm hoping they go a little bit more wild for that. They typically do four movies. Um, so I'm, I'm excited from, as a fan of cinema... I'm excited to see how they uh, handle this movie in this season. Um, that being said, we're going to get straight into it. Let's go. Um, all right. All righty, all righty. Also, uh, just while the opening um, studios are doing their scrolls, um, what probably will end up happening, this video may or may not end up getting broken up into parts um, and released in different segments. I might do a part one, part two, part three. I don't know. This is a two hour long movie. So um, if I do break it up like that, that'd be sort of 40 minute chunks where you can sort of watch the, the intro, the rise and the fall sort of thing. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'll cross that bit when I get to it. I might, I might just release it all as one video. Who knows at this point in time? Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, obviously, last season ended up with them um, being set up and, like, already boarding the train. Are these all past Demon Slayers? Ooh. Is he sick? Or did that last one kind of hurt him a bit? Emotionally. It's not good for your health. I wonder how long I'll be able to make the trip here. So he's sick in some capacity then. It's not just like the burn marks across the face. So these are all the people that die from the demons that they know of. Or are these all demon slaves? Ooh. Because obviously the 12 Kizuki at the end of last season ended up getting, um, you know, kick up, the, kick up the bum to try and get them moving and fighting. Alright, 
for anyone that also wants to watch this movie on a separate screen uh, in time with me, we're at 2.45 right now, um, minutes into the movie, and 2.50 now. So if you want to sync up, you can. I thought I'd do that. Obviously, you can probably see it with the uh, subtitles, but it helps. It helps, trust me. I don't want to get copyrighted. That's why I don't show the um, anime on the channel. Because um, I have had issues with that in the past. But it's just much simpler to do it this way. You can see with the subtitles and that as well. And then it also has that you know closed caption set up for um, anyone that needs it. Zenitsu, man, I love you, but you gotta, you gotta get quicker thinking. It's gonna end up costing you if you don't. Dude. <clears throat> The animation's looking good, though. But it's not like a big jump compared to the series, which is good. It's because it keeps it kind of, like, um, fairly staple. I know with, like, a lot of, like, One Piece movies and that, depending on the directors, you get a very drastic change in the art styles and stuff like that. I do kind of like how they've kept it consistent here. Wait, did I miss something? I kind of thought he wasn't aware that Rengoku was going to be on the train. And that they were just going to run into each other on accident. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to give me like the anime version of Murder on the Orient Express sort of vibes. But I'm, I'm actually kind of keen on that. Mugen Train. <laughs> yeah, look at that food's making me hungry. And the worst part is, I started this without having eaten. And it's around lunchtime. How many boxes has he gone through? What's his name, Rengoku? Is that the Flame Hushara guy? <laughs> He's already a weird fella, I like him already. Oh, the poor, the poor train stuff too. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be very surprised if he's very friendly with them. Like, I know he said he wasn't going to attack, um... Yeah, I know he wasn't going to attack Nezuko, but he did not like them at all. Hmm. I mean, I cannot wait to get up today, because I've actually seen the, um... I've seen little clips of the game, and the game looks great, and I really want to play the game. The casualties of the Mugen train are increasing. The flame breathing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, dude is just getting shut down like he's just going on a random monologue. He's gonna have no idea, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> and yeah, dude, just shut it down straight up, too. Yeah, he's trying... <laughs> I like that already. Alright. I'll get more comfortable. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, so these are all the breathing techniques, are they? Why is that unfortunate? Oh. So he's going to be indecisive or he's going to end up mastering all of them. <laughs> yo, what's... I, I, I get it because they got a fiery personality, but it's like... Yo, I'm already getting like... Um, full glue... Full... I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher his name, Marilona and that from Black Clover. Um, I'm already getting like, like that fiery sort of personality. Same with like Ace and Sabo, they're just like larger than life people. <laughs> oh, you know, Sky. Okay. <laughs> He's still just flapping about. Over 40 people have disappeared. That means... That person that... That lower ranking, um, Kizuki has already gotten 40 people boosted on top of getting, um, fresh blood. He already seems like a thrall. In which case, Zenitsu, please get up. Don't, don't get... Don't get insulted early, please. This is just creepy as. Did everyone just disappear from that section as well? Ooh. I'm surprised everyone's not just giving him death stare. Yo, this thing just got in! So it's all gonna be tight quarters battle as well. But if you bear your fangs at innocent people, yo, I love this dude already.
Flame breathing looks damn good. Yo. The candle set up then aligning with the sword. I love that imagery. Like straight up eviscerated the torso on that slash. Yo, oh, that's a bit nasty. This one. Is just really unfortunate looking. Is he gonna tell the others to attack him? Oh no, yeah, okay, he's just going straight up. Ooh. It's gonna just backhand him. Oh! Yo! Coming in like one of the parasites from uh, from Parasite. Yo, Rengoku's looking stoic AF. Sheath and unsheath technique or flame breathing second form? Yo, that looks good, and that's very that that parallels really well with um with the water wheel attack. I wonder if is that the second form too? For Tanjiro, I can't remember, but he's got his water pinwheel, and that was very like the rising sun and the pinwheel attack are like identical. <laughs> yeah, he's gushing too. Why you gotta do Zenitsu so dirty with the buck teeth? Or is this all in Rengoku's head? Oh no, okay, it, it was actually happening. Dude, they did Rengoku so- Ah, uh, not Rengoku, they did Zenitsu so dirty then. No, okay, I, I got a bad vibe then. Oh, they've all been put to sleep in their seats. That was all a dream. Oh, that's good. I did it as I was told. I punched the tickets and put them to sleep. So this thing's name's Dream. What do you want us to do? Interesting. So it's gonna weaponize the slumber grows the slumber will grow deeper for in a little while. Wait until here until then. Yo, he finessed! Yo, I like that there's um, some analytical people 
in this series though like demons that are like willing to be like they've got good tricks and they plan how to munt people up real early now, this is this is making me want to go grab one of my swords <laughs> Oh, is he having a flashback to what happened with Nezuko and that? That's what he's dreaming about? Oh, he's already got his Hashira outfit done. Uh, not Hashira outfit, that was his original outfit, wasn't it? Yeah. And he's not Hashira. I don't know what I was talking about then. His Demon Slayer outfit. There we go, his kimono. Now he's having a nightmare because he's he's already got his sword, so stuff's feeling odd. But it feels like a flashback, so this is probably a nightmare. The music here goes hard, just like that soft piano. Oh, that's sad. He's just dreamed like none of it happened. Dude, look at- you got a sword! Where'd you get the sword from?! Little details! Don't get caught- uh, Don't get caught up in it. Little details. That's sad. He's not going to be happy waking up then, is he? Doesn't matter how powerful a demon slayer you are. Oh, that's his hand! Yo! So, this person's mindset is crush the spirit. Be careful not to touch them. Oh, that actually sucks. I feel weird that his head scar has changed shape. I was having a bad drip. Mm. Oh, you poor bastard. That's sad. Can he sense what they're dreaming? Mm. 
Lower one. Does that mean it's the strongest of the lower six? Or the weakest of the lower six? <laughs> yo, Zenitsu's just like, yo, Dundra, I'm sorry. I want your sister. She's mine. <laughs> oh, this poor bastard. <laughs> That's cute. Why do I almost feel like he's even in his own dream he's gonna slip over or something? Ooh. Obviously this is like metaphorical water that they're in, I'm pretty sure. Well they're in the dream wait. Is that... Does the whole squad just want to... <laughs> That's funny. So he's a raccoon, and he's a rat. Oh, you know, Oscar, you poor... Poor, dumb, lovable fool. Ooh. Yo, I didn't think. Is she going to wake up? Because they all got put to sleep, put to sleep when they got their um, cards punched, but she's been asleep in the back. Or possibly awake. Or is it going to be Rengoku? What's Rengoku dreaming about? What's on your mind, buddy? Ah, uh, his father's missing or dead, is he? That's sad. It's going to be a nightmare for him and it's going to wake him up. Interesting. Oh, and he's got a little brother too. So, okay. If that's their natural hair and they don't dye their hair, does that mean they're supposed to be like strawberry blonde? Okay. Ooh, interesting. Senjiro and Rengoku. Oh, that's sad. If your dad's not going to be that pilot light for the family, you be it, bro. I, I like that. I respect that.
The fact that he's dreaming about that, I wonder if the father and the brother are possibly no longer with him. Yo, I... The whole mouths on hands thing, right? Ever since Naruto. I just, I just... I, I, I can't, I can't vibe with it. Oh, did she tie herself to Nezuko? Oh, they've entered their dreamscape. The dream world I show them isn't infinite. So you can change their subconscious as well. I'll destroy his spiritual core right away. But he's such a motivated person. Surely... His mind's on fire. That is some beautiful imagery. Also love the animation of that. That is really interesting. But surely this is a new ability for um, that member of the Kizuki. Is it going to burn her? Or is Rengoku going to... My boy has got the sixth cent. And he's dead asleep too, so. Nothing nothing's coming in between him and his passion. Yo, that was That was fire. What's the bet he's going to want something very similar? One of them's got to um, screw up though and be seen by their dream, like by the dreamer's counterpart. Although if someone gets their will crushed, who would it be? Kind of feel bad for either Inosuke or Zinetsu, Zinetsu but like is there a way to recover it after it's done?
it's it's leaking through. His subconscious is leaking through in the dream. The box. Because his, his subconscious is always to keep that box nearby as well. Yo, I got goosebumps on. Yo, I love that. I'm a demon sailor and I'm on a train. He keeps glitching back to it, but he's trying to wake himself up. Yo, they're, they're gonna have goofed here by not having- yeah. Yeah, I- I knew it. I knew it. She gonna smack him and wake him up, just like a just like a big palm strike. Ooh! Open palm slap. No head by. <laughs> Yo, they're in a deep sleep. Yo, she headbutted him hard, too. Is her crying gonna wake him up? That was a big release of power. Yeah, I love the animation here. Is he going to run into the edge of the dream or something then? He's going to start running and he's just going to face plant in the edge of the dream. Don't get tripped up by it. That's got to be harsh. Just, just think about the fact that you got your sword, you got your kimono, and you were just on fire for a second. It doesn't make sense. Music's good here, especially with the soft, like the soft falling snow. I like that a lot.
Is he going to be able to get out, though? Or is it going to be something tragic, like he's got to cut down the family? Because if running away doesn't get you out, I wonder how you'd have to get out. Mmm, that's sad. That's really sad. He's going to make eye contact with him. What does his subconscious look like? Just tranquil, peaceful. Mm. Is he not going to want to kill him just because he's such a beautiful person on the inside? This is gonna be, um, Inosuke's one, isn't it? Poor girl stuck in Inos uh, Inosuke's dream. She's probably gonna open it up and it's just gonna be, like, sharp blades or some shit. Oh, he's on her ass! That's just his animalistic side, isn't it? I, I got a feeling that all of them are going to snap awake all at once, except we haven't had... We haven't really seen what's going on in Zenitsu's dream. If this is Zenitsu's one, his subconscious is empty. Ooh. He's a ripper. <laughs> the defense mechanism, I love that. Are all of them about to wake up? They're having trouble. Yeah, they're having trouble. Where's the train going to? Is the train going to go somewhere where it's like a small town of demons or something? Was that? Wait, was that his dad then? Interesting. Is 
Is it gonna be himself? That's going to take some conviction. Damn, Tanjiro. He's up, though. He's good. I wonder if the others are going to be able to do it or if there's going to be another way out for them. And we are going to wrap up this segment of the movie here here please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like this give the video a thumbs up and all that good stuff um and be sure to keep an eye out for the next section of the movie it is really appreciated thank you guys and girls for coming through all right this has been an absolute blast these parts should be releasing one after the other so it should not be a long wait for you between now and the next segment uh that being said like i said before if you haven't done so already all right uh, check out the link tree in the description down below. It'll take you to things like my uh, Discord, where you can join and talk anything anime and manga related. It'll take you to my Twitter, my Twitch, my TikTok, where I'll be posting all sorts of short-form content, especially about this movie, uh, with how much I've enjoyed it so far. Um, again, this is me in post-production here, doing this little segment here, since I'm breaking the movie up into three segments. Um, so... That being said, also check out the uh, music. If you like the music in this video, uh, the link to the proper songs uh, actually made by my friend who is an artist, uh, Imaria, is in the description down below. So it'll take you to her Spotify if you want to check out that music. Uh, that being said, until the next uh, segment of this movie or until the next video of mine you watch, whatever it is you're here for, uh, thank you for coming through. Nothing but love, nothing but respect. Have a damn good day. Goodbye, guys and girls.